right, guys, today we are in New Philly, Ohio, and we are about to get our Philly of Spirit Halloween. It's usually down the way in that abandoned J.C. Penney's down there, but this year it's in the abandoned Elder Beerman's. So I guess you could say it's sort of like the road to El Dorado because Spirit Halloween is like gold to us. Anyway, Spirit Halloween in New Philly. Let's go in and see what kind of awesomeness we can find. Look how huge that sign is. I hear all kinds of awesomeness happening and I see all kinds of awesomeness happening. Where to begin with all the Halloween goodness? Where should we begin, Mr. Nostrils? I swear I can't help it. Every time I look at him, all I see is his nostrils now. All right, Lord Farquaad, we're gonna pass you up for now and go on in the store because the first thing I wanna look for is my scream masks. Then we're gonna go through all this stuff and see all the animatronics that are out for sale. Oh my gosh, this is a really big store too, guys. So I'm not really even sure where to start. It looks like it's kind of backwards. They have the kids stuff over on this end. Which doesn't mean that we're not gonna find the Scream stuff over here. Cause they do have costumes like Chucky for the mini ones. And even Jack Skellington. Look, it's not a mask, it's a skull cap. There are actually some pretty awesome costumes for the toddlers, so we're gonna have to spend some time on these. But I think we'll do that in a different store, just so we're not filming every single thing they have right off the bat. I do see the ghost face blankets. And I hear craziness going on right here. I'll show you that in a minute. Man, I'm gonna have to put off looking for the ghost face stuff for a while because every store is still waiting for their deliveries. Nobody has any ghost face stuff yet, but they do have Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween and Friday the 13th. Look at this shirt. I haven't seen this one before. Welcome to Haddonfield. That is pretty cool. Whoa, look at this. Holy crap, it's got a Michael Myers patch on the front. That is cool. Okay, let's come on over here and take a look at some of the animatronics that are set up in the middle here. And we have this guy. Look at that. Look at the hair on him. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get him moving here. You gotta love this guy. He is actually so much fun. I think he's about five feet tall, maybe not quite that tall. Look at his ear. He looks like he's been in a few fights. And look at his teeth. He definitely has been in a few matches. All right, let's come on over here to the bog zombie. I love this guy. Let's get him going. Come on, boggy. Look, I think he has like a legit spider web right there on his cheek. I don't think that's part of his costume. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead through here and see what they have set up. They're still in the process of setting stuff up in here. Oh look, they do have the, the uh, animation going on though. All those bats, and there's that guy. The bats remind me of my new intro. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> this looks so awesome. Does it do anything else? Knocking, there's the moon, there's the bats. Yeah, that is pretty awesome, guys. Jack Reaper. And here he comes, one more time. There he is. Pretty cool. We got Barry set up in here, but I don't think he's plugged, no, he's not plugged in, so he's not gonna do anything. But that gives us a chance to kind of get a look at him. Look at it in the dark. He looks so creepy in the dark. And look at this, I've never looked at his feet before, but look at this, this little piggy went to market, this little piggy stayed home. <laughs> okay, before we get into any of the details of the store, let's go on over here and look at these animatronics, cause here's this guy, Grandma Nazi. Look at that hair, man. I'm not even kidding, every store I go into, he has a different hairdo. All right, Nazi, I think you need to go visit Ulta. <laughs> We got these guys going on over here. Mr. Dark, he's on the sensor. Look at this, what is it with everybody having like a string in their mouth in this store? <laughs> and then we got this little guy over here who he keeps jumping out. And every time he hops, he hops his bag a little bit closer and he keeps falling over onto the floor. 
Let's just straighten you up a little bit here, sir. There you go. We got Lil Skelly Bones over here. Let's see if he's going to jump or if he's going to work. Maybe he's not plugged in either. And I don't think that Mr. Bottomless is plugged in either because he's not doing anything right at the moment. <laughs> There's a small child over here getting very frightened by the jump scares. All right, let's go on in here. Remember the one we were in the other day when we stepped on the floor? It was really, really loud. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Are you going to buzz floor? The floor is not buzzing. Let's try this one. The floor isn't buzzing. Are you going to electrocute us? Okay, the floor is buzzing now. It was just a little delayed. And yes, we are getting electrocuted. It's electrifying my hand. It's electrifying my face. If I could get my foot up there, it would be electrifying my foot. All right, here we got Dr. Illum getting, to, oh my gosh, he's getting attacked by young Crouchy. All right, let's watch this a second. All right, here he goes. He's working on young Crouchy. Here we go. He's bringing him to life. All right, come on. Okay, he was working on huge Crouchy. Then he electrified him down to a young Crouchy. And now he's saying he's alive, and then Crouchy attacks him and eats his face. <laughs> Okay, and then on this one, we got this guy in the electric chair. He starts getting electrified. And then, watch what happens here. He becomes... Well, here it comes. The Nightcrawler! Look at that guy! That is really cool. <laughs> okay, let's move on out here. And what do I see right outside of there? But the Burrito Baby, they actually have two of them. They have two Burrito Babies. They have two Spider Biter Billies. They have one, what's this guy's name again? Wretched Ralphie. I didn't even think I knew that. I just keep making fun of him eating rats. But I never knew his name was Wretched Ralphie. And they have two Snackin' Stevies munching on hands. These certainly are a hungry bunch of babies. We haven't done a lot of these yet this season, so let's check these out. The Burning Skull Pathway Markers. Oh, I think we did these in one of the other stores. Those are cool. That kind of reminds me of the smoldering prop. The uh, smoldering man or whatever his name is. All right, let's see. Creepy skull pathway markers. Uh-oh. Try me button's not working and this one's totally gone. We'll pretend. We have the clown toe tapper. Is it just one shoe? Oh, there's two shoes in there. All right. Decaying zombie groundbreaker, but I don't think he does anything at all. Just comes up out of the ground. Empty soul girl on a swing. And I like to look behind all these just to see if there's one of the old skelly bones, just in case. We got some good inflatables here. The gargoyle. Look at his face. I never really took time to look at his face, but dang, that is one ugly face. <laughs> we got the ghost. We got the jack-o'-lantern stack. The haunted tree up here. Um, let's see, we have the reaper, the cat, gotta love that cat, the scary clown archway, and the jack-o'-lantern archway. Look at this, I don't think I've seen these before. These are all clown skulls. This, the whole thing is like a, a garland. Look, he's got blue hair, we got yellow hair over here, red hair here like Crouchy. I think that's it. I thought I saw a green hair, but I guess not. But this is one long strand. It's like a garland. You could actually do like a Halloween tree, like a Christmas tree, but a Halloween tree. And you could use these on your tree. And here's purple and orange string lights you could put on that tree as well. So look at these a minute. These are zombie lawn stakes. They're actually just two hands and there's stakes in there. You stick them in the ground and they stick up like this. But I've seen a lot of people online building their own life-size props. And if you're looking for hands, these would be perfect. These are only 10 bucks. That would be a perfect way to get hands on your homemade props. Look, they have a lot of these vintage masks. They have the Frankenstein, the pumpkin, I love that one, the vintage ape, the vintage devil, they have the vintage werewolf and the mummy, the vintage Raggedy Ann and Andy, the skull phantom, the dark clown, that's not really a vintage one, but it kind of has that look. 
L wire vintage robot mask. Oh, cool. Look at his mouth. It's blinking. That's pretty cool. Look, they have one called Jolly Wally up there. Then the vintage clown mask and the vintage grinning black cat. I see you. Oh, yes. You guys remember I bought the ghost face the other day. I don't really care to have this Gremlins one, but I definitely want Halloween Michael Myers and Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. These are kind of difficult to find this season. And since I'm visiting so many stores this season, I have a promise to myself to buy one thing from each store and no more. So I have to choose one between those two. It is definitely a tough one, guys, but I think I'm gonna go with Michael Myers. There is still one left. So if you wanna come down to New Philly, Ohio and get him, he's there. We got a couple of the light up Sam statues here. This one's always cool. You see him in a lot of stores. Then there's this one where he's standing here holding the pumpkin that lights up inside there. And he's got the other head on. And here's the other one that a lot of people seem to be looking for this season. He's standing by the light post. Let's see if it's gonna work. Yes, look, the light post turns on. That is really awesome. He's just like peeking out. Another thing that's been pretty difficult to find this season, so they got three of them here. Still waiting on the sidesteppers, but they do have Billy Butcherson. He's one of my favorite sidesteppers. Oh, okay, and what I noticed, guys, was on some of these, they have like a long yellow thing that you could pull out, but this year, they've put them under the foot so you can't get to it, so you can't pull it out. So if they're not working, it just means that that tab hasn't been pulled out from under the foot. I think they need to make a Nate sidestepper. We've got Sam Greeters and Chucky Greeters. Oh, I almost totally forgot. There's a whole bunch of animatronics over here, guys. So we have three Bubba's Man's Possessed Friend. Then we have a Lucky Bottoms here, a Mr. Dark, a Bog Zombie, a Lil Skelly Bones, one of my favorites this year, and two Sitting Scarecrows. Lots of stuff from Friday the 13th, and Michael Myers' Halloween, and Chucky, and of course, Freddy. But no Monty, at least not yet. It's still early though. Look, they have a whole bunch of Holly Ho bars, a good selection of Pennywise stuff, Sam costumes and lollipops. What in the world is this song? <laughs> Look at this, they got a whole bunch of Billy Butcherson's head. And seeing these dresses gets me so excited for the new Hocus Pocus movie. And they always have tons of awesome costume stuff in this store. We're gonna look at those closer another day because like I said, we've got to save some stuff for other videos. But before we go, what in the world is this supposed to be? <laughs> All right guys, here we go. Let's leave some stickers for good old Mr. Billy Butcherson. Let's leave some for Shorty. Let's leave some for Mr. Bottoms. Oh, look, guys, I told you. He jumps up and his bag hops. He's just about to fall over the edge again. Let's help this guy. Ah! <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Let's leave some stickers for you guys. And let's leave some for Nozzles. There you go, Mr. Crazy Hair. And of course, they always have a billion jumping spiders. All right, guys, there you have it. New Philadelphia, Ohio, Spirit Halloween. Get down here and get some awesome stuff. I'm moving on to the next one. Ah, ah, ah.